high and low uh, beta weights in a uh, simple high-low chart that you can create in SPSS, uh, this is what I get, and you can you kind of eyeballing it, and it looks like it looks like it's close to 50% overlap. Now, hopefully, in most cases, you don't get as close overlap as that, because then you don't have to do any calculations. Ideally, the standardized confidence interval would come up to here, and you'd just say, look, it's less than 50% overlap, therefore they're statistically significantly different from each other. But in this case, it's so close to 50% that you probably have to sit down and do the calculations, and I've done that. And this is what you have to do to be more precise about uh, using this procedure. So I've got the point estimates for the standardized beta weights in the middle column here, and the upper and lower bound confidence intervals on the right and left sides of the point estimate. And I've calculated uh, the difference between 0.34 0 and uh, 0.282 because what I have to do is I have to calculate the average distance between the lower and the point estimate and the point estimate and the upper for intelligence and humor respectively. Now that might not make complete sense to you but once I show you what these calculations are it should become clear. So I've subtracted 0.434 from 0.282 to get the lower bound of the higher point estimate uh, confidence interval and I've done the same thing for the upper bound confidence interval for the lower point estimate and they should equal something pretty close to each other in most cases they won't be exactly the same uh, so in this case here I've got uh, a difference of 0.52 and 0.135 and I've calculated the average of that so what's the average distance it's equal to 0 0.44, 0 0.144 and then I divided that by 2 which gives me 0 0.072. Now I'll show you what this means. Uh, okay, and then I added it to 0 0.282. Bear with me here. I'll show you in a graph what I'm doing, which should clarify things. 0 0.282 plus half of the distance of the confidence intervals, which are overlapping. So 0 0 0.282 plus 0 0.072 equals 0 0.354. So if you look on a graph, what I'm trying to find is the the average distance between this and the average distance between this. So I'm, or I should say, the midpoint of the difference in the averages. So this point estimate, this confidence interval is almost going up to halfway. I need to find out exactly what that halfway mark is. And using those calculations in the previous slides gives me that. And so 0.282, which is this over here, this lower bound, plus half of what the confidence interval, half is 50%. So 0.25, uh, 0.282 plus, plus 0 0.072 equals 0.354, which is right about there. And we can actually see that it does, uh, that the confidence interval for the humor point estimate is actually exceeding the halfway point, the 50% point. And so therefore, we've actually act got to conclude that because 0.355, which is the upper bound point estimate for humor, is greater than 0.354, and it's just barely greater, but it's greater, uh, we have to say that P greater than 0 0.05 based on the 50% overlap rule. Now, writing these results up, I would do something like this. I would say, in order to test the hypothesis that the intelligence and humor standardized beta weights were statistically significantly different from each other, their corresponding confidence intervals were estimated by the bias-corrected bootstrap, of which I had a thousand resamples. In the event that the confidence intervals overlap by less than 50%, the beta weights uh, would be considered statistically significantly different from each other. And here I'm citing the coming paper, who showed that 50% overlap seems to be about right for a number of different statistics. As can be seen in Figure 1, there appeared to be approximately 50% overlap in the confidence intervals. Whether you'd actually report this graph or not uh, may be subject to your uh, discretion. But this is what, the, what it looks like if you did create a graph like that. So to evaluate the hypo hypothesis more precisely, half of the average of the overlapping confidence intervals was calculated, which equaled 0 0.072. And it was added to the intelligence beta weight lower bound estimate of 0.282 which yielded 
As the humor upper bound estimate of 0.35 exceeded the value of 0.354, the difference between the intelligence and humor standardized beta weights, which is actually equal to 0.21, so the difference between 0.43 and 0.22 is equal to 0.21, was not considered statistically significant. And then I put that statement that some people have problems with, although perhaps the difference may be considered marginally significant. Now, uh, that's how I'd write up these results. And uh, the reference for the coming uh, paper is right here, Statistics in Medicine. I encourage you to read it. It's not a technical paper. It's quite um, insightful, although I think the main points that are associated with the paper are, have, have been discussed in this talk. Uh, so that's how I would go about testing that thorny hypothesis about the difference between two beta weights. You could use it on the unstandardized, but even more importantly, I think usefully, you can do it on the standardized beta weights as well, so long as you bootstrap the confidence intervals uh, because the sampling distribution of standardized estimates is different than the unstandardized. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to do the more precise exact method. I mean, it's not an exact method, but it's a more precise method using Amos in a future video, but a lot of you don't have access to that. And uh, so using SPSS will give you a roundabout way. And I can tell you that the a Amos result pretty much corresponds to the result found in SPSS. You get something pretty close. Uh, so I would feel pretty confident using uh, this technique. Ideally, somebody will write a, a more extensive paper on this kind of simulation, and hopefully someone will at some point. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this, and catch you next time.